Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. In the last class, we have seen what is an unconnected lookup. So, uh, lookup could be uh, connected as well. Uh, so, if I have a employee table like this uh, with ID name and department ID, so I can uh, source qualifier would be there next to this, and I can pass. Uh, from source qualifier I can pa give uh, connect the lookup and then to the target so this lookup table could be department and uh, it has ID and uh, name fields so I am passing uh, from here department ID to as an input to this lookup and getting uh, this in the output so I can populate both uh, ID and department ID and department name into the target. So basically uh, this is same thing as before uh, what we have done in unconnected lookup. Uh, but this lookup is connected and it is uh, in the inline uh, code. Uh, it is basically part of the pipeline. It is not uh, uh, earlier I called, uh, I had this lookup. Uh, table separately called department. I used an expression transformation here to uh, call this lookup and then uh, get the return port. So in uh, case of connected lookup uh, also this is possible and uh, uh, in case of unconnected lookup we got only one return port called the EPT name. Uh, in case of connected lookup we can get more than one output port or return port. Uh, here let's see how to get department name and location ID. So let's see how to uh, do this in informatics. So I'm going to create a new mapping called employees connected lookup. Here I'm going to use employees as my source table and I'm going to create one more lookup transformation like before which I'm calling it as LKP underscore DEPT from the source I'm selecting departments table and I'm interested in getting two uh, ports as output ports and load into the target so I'm going to add one more port to the target table in the database so that is basically the location ID alter table employees add location ID number it's a number field so because I have added one more column I need to import my target table again from the database so it is basically employees table and uh, I'm replacing the existing one so I got location ID as well now so uh, this target I'm going to delete from here and drag the newly created which has the location ID as well to this one and now I'm going to configure the lookup properties I don't need manager ID here uh, I deleted location ID also by mistake so let me open this again I want to delete only the manager ID uh, sorry uh, let me do this again. So I deleted only the manager ID. The lookup condition is empty it says. So let me create uh, an input port for department ID with decimal 4. This is only my input port and this is only my lookup port and these two are my output as well as lookup. So the, va the four uh, values which we configured earlier for unconnected lookup also apply to this. So I'm going to leave this as use first value and I'm going to uh, now give the condition for the lookup. Yeah, this is a correct condition department ID equal to in department ID. So now uh, I will connect from source uh, qualifier. Uh, I'm going to do auto link from the source qualifier to the employees target so I'll get all the columns except department name and location ID so those two columns I'm going to connect from here department name and location ID I'm going to save this and now I'll create a workflow to run this so I'm creating a workflow and uh, okay a mapping is invalid let me check why that is because I did not connect the input port 
so let me connect this department ID to this as well and now let me save this again yeah now this is valid now I'll select the mapping and connect these two I'll configure the session properties now HR target and uh, save session log for five runs stop on errors as one and mapping uh, tab I'll give the source as dollar source and target as dollar target and uh, I'm going to change this to normal and I'll truncate and load the target table so let's run this and see how many records we'll get so we we should get uh, 107 records only uh, with both uh, each of those records in the target table should have both uh, department name and location ID populated so yeah here is location ID and uh, department name so basically we got two output ports this time instead of one uh, so with connected lookup it is possible with unconnected lookup it is possible to get only one return port so if uh, this is like an inline code uh, within uh, the flow of the mapping this comes you don't need to call this in a separate expression uh, so but this uh, can be used only at one place whereas unconnected lookup could be called in multiple places wherever wherever an expression can be used can be called so yeah uh, so let's see uh, in next class one more variation of this lookup transformation thank you